Jiddu Krishnamurti, born 1895, Madonna Pale, India, died 1986, Ohai, Caliph, U.S., Indian spiritual leader. He was educated in theosophy by the British social reformer Annie Besant, who proclaimed him the coming world teacher, a messianic figure who would bring about world enlightenment. He became a teacher and writer, and from the 1920s he spent much time in the United States and Europe. In 1929 he broke with the Theosophical Society, the international religious organization run by Besant, and renounced any claims to being the world teacher. Proclaiming the necessity of total spiritual freedom, even from teachers, through unflinching self-awareness, he continued to be a popular lecturer. He established Krishnamurti Foundations in the United States, Britain, India, Spain, and Canada to further his aims. His concept on silence is the mind that has put its house in order, has understood the nature of knowledge. Such a mind is completely silent, and that silence has no cause. You see, silence can be illusory. It can be put together by a thought that is determined to be silent. You have the silence between the two whistles of a train, the silence between two notes, between two noises, between two sounds, between two thoughts but that kind of silence is still within the realm of cognition. But when the mind is completely silent, it is not even aware that it is silent. If it were, it would merely be playing tricks. The mind that has put its house in order is silent. That silence has no cause and, therefore, has no end. Only that which has a cause can end. That silence, which has no ending, is absolutely necessary, because it is only in that silence that there is no movement of thought. It is only in that silence that which is sacred, that which is nameless, and that which is not measurable by thought, is. And that which is, is the most sacred. That is meditation, which was explained by him in his public talk at Madras on November 29, 1981.